Okay, come in. Don't open them, don't open them. If you haven't got your 2024 calendar yet, they are available. All right, welcome to Trucking with Schmidt. The pickup you were looking at there was my dad's Dodge. If you've been around the channel a lot, we call that the good Dodge, the good pickup, because dad has two. He has a farm pickup that he uses out, we use for hunting and everything. She's getting wore out. It's going to need some work, the farm pickup. But the Dodge is starting to look not as good as what I want it to look. And I know Dad wants it to look better, and I know Dad wants it to perform better, and the whole works. What Dad doesn't know is I'm going to give that pickup a little, a little makeover. A little... Don't get crazy. You know, I'm not going to go nuts and spend thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. But Dad does a lot for us. He does a lot for the channel. He does a lot for the kids. He does a lot for me. The garage we're pulling into right now wouldn't exist without my dad's help with finding contractors and being here to watch over everything. So I want to give him a little thank you. So we're going to give his pickup a little fake slipped there's a dodge rim i gotta get that in the pickup before it goes down the napa i also want to wash it up before it goes down the napa oh yeah i got my heater hung what i'm gonna do today and it has nothing to do with the video is i'm gonna take this sawzall i'm gonna cut that wood to fit and i'm gonna cut that wood over there by the breaker box to fit because the Harley Davidson's coming in and it goes in that corner and I want everything done. I'm excited. I think dad's pickup's gonna look real nice. I got the kids in on it because I have to go trucking. So this video will start one day and end in five days. It's not gonna take five days to do the work on the pickup, but I want it dropped off and I want to pick it up and I want to be there when dad sees it and I'm gonna be gone for five days. So that's why it's gonna be five days. Plan? We're going to put uh, 285 70 17 BF3 all terrain tires all the way around that pickup. And if you're familiar with the Dodges or any new pickup, they ride like that. So we're going to put a two and a half inch leveling kit on the front of it. We're going to detail it all up. We're going to straighten that front bumper out, put a layer of wax on it, just to say thank you. Well, the boards are up. This is as close as you guys are going to get to them. Dad's going to come in. He's going to look over there. He's going to go, can't cut a straight line to save your soul, can you, Kurt? And I'm going to say, nope, I sure can't. But maybe after he sees his pickup, he'll be all like, whew, you sure are a good word worker, Kurt. Well, I had to stop down, talk to Isaac. That's the guy who's gonna be doing the work for me down here at uh, Jensen Repair or Napa. And I told him, I'm gonna to try to get it washed up before you guys get it, because it's really muddy. The inside the fender wells where they'd be working, it's really muddy. But then dad just told me, hey, I need to use the pickup to run out to the timber. I told him I was gonna wash it up for when Paige uses it. He doesn't even question. I go, Paige needs to use your pickup Thursday. Doesn't even question, okay. He did say we probably should clean it up a little bit for her if she's going to use it. It's kind of fun, you know. It's, it's kind of fun planning something like this. Like I told you before, it's not a, uh, it's not something huge, but it, it's kind of cool. 
and I told Isaac in there I'm nervous. Dad's either gonna look at it and go, man, that looks awesome. Or he's gonna look at it and go, why the hell did you spend all that money? Or see which route he goes by the end of this video. Gets it out of the way. But since I can't wash Dad's pickup tonight, Money Pit needs a little bath. We'll get that cleaned up. Really wanted to get Dad's cleaned up before we go trucking in the morning. How was your nap? I'm sorry, it took longer, didn't it, Rose? right now today's the big day where the tires and the lift are going on it unfortunately the lift is not going on it because he ran into some issues so now I need to determine if I, uh, if I want to continue with the video or not because the pickups gonna look the same other than other than some really cool tires well never mind it really wasn't a big surprise anyway you know I was going to you know, I put tires on, get tires on it, get the leveling kit, told you guys all that already. This is really weird making a video that I started three days ago. And I'm trying to, you know, start it and end it when it's all done, put it all into one video. They're having issues with that leveling off kit. It's not working out. So it's going to have to go back in after. Gosh. I don't know when it's going to go back in, but it doesn't really matter. So I kind of forgot to tell Sarah what I was doing, and apparently I got a text from Paige. Mom told Grandpa already. It is what it is. I hate that word. I truly do. I hate those words. But it is. But it, it, never mind. We're back home now. So. Just where we got this right, I gotta get it on camera here. It's not 100% your fault that you called dad. No, I told you that. I, I know. I'm just, we're telling the I camera. We're telling the, camera. Telling we're, we're telling the, the kids that too. We're telling the camera because Isaac down there at the shop, he put in bold letters on the computer. Right. This is a gift to Dave. Do not call Dave. Kurt will be in. Yeah. You know, and Dad, you know what Grandpa sends me a text? He goes, he goes, hey, my pickup's been gone all day, and I know you said Paige is using it today, but what's going on with my pickup? Something's fishy. Nothing fishy. <laughs> because, because my... Because my the text you said. So did, you didn't tell him, did you? No, I told him I had the kids put it in the, pick, put it in the garage because I want to clean it up real nice and it's getting pretty nasty in there. Yeah, he asked for it back and I said, no, it's stolen. And he's like, oh, it's stolen again. Oh, he asked for it back? No, here, I'll, I'll read it. What did he say to you? He goes, hey, are you done with my truck? I'm like, no, it's stolen. Oh, no, not again. Yes, it's stolen forever. So, yes, the surprise did get ruined a little bit. He still hasn't seen it. He knows something is up with the pickup, but we can blame Corbin for that. I know you're watching this too, Corbin. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal at all. Like I said, it's just new tires and uh, a lift. I went down and I talked to Isaac. He told me, he showed me exactly the bushings on top of, uh, these are shocks with a coil over them. The bushings on top are completely froze up inside the bushing, so he's going to have to cut the bolts off, put new bushings in. He has the parts already, but he got them today, and, uh, well, I want to get done with the pickup today. So Dad's going to see the pickup today just with new tires, and uh, 
then we will uh, put uh, the lift on it. I scheduled it for I think next week. Hey, ladies, ladies, boys, boys, I want to show. I, I'm trying to show the pickup here. Really? Come on. Hi, Jax. Yes, give the head shake. Yep, it's a head shake. think about it guys I haven't got it yet you're gonna see an industrial sized wall mounted vacuum cleaner hanging right there on that wall with a 30 to 50 foot hose to it I absolutely love vacuuming out Rams Dodge pickups actually it's called Ram isn't it it's not even called Dodge anymore they want to call it Ram I love vacuuming these trucks out so easy these carpets they don't stick the hair does not stick to them near as bad as uh, like the Ford's carpet, it just sticks to it like glue. Rosie's hair is coming straight up out of the seat real nicely. Remember that too. I'm gonna make you have a little learning point here. Um, when it comes to dogs and pickups, whatever you do, just because your vehicle is clean, make sure you still take your dog with you because there's a beautiful invention, vacuum cleaner. So. No matter how clean the pickup is, just remember, it can be vacuumed out once the dogs get out of it. I mean, I vacuum mine a little crazily because I'm weird like that, so I vacuum it, you know, two, three times, whatever. We're not going to go there. But, uh, like Dad's pickup, Dad, speaking to you, your pickup is going to be very, very clean. Still take Rosie with you because it's just dog hair. That's all there is to it. There's been a smell in this pickup for the past two weeks. We've been chasing a smell. I asked Dad, hey Dad, you got everything out of there. There's no meat, no nothing anywhere in that pickup. Yeah, 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 I think so. I think it was my coat. I think it's jerky. I'm going to call Dad just to ask him how long his jerky's been in his pickup. To remember, he knows I'm already detailing it up. And we will see. He says they've been in there since first season deer season. So 20 days probably, give or take. And it says refrigerate after opening. But my nose is completely stuffed and I cannot smell a darn thing. That's how I'm able to vacuum it out. Because that smell was pretty bad. Paige's nose is good. So we're going to see. Where's Paige? She's in the beef and brew with her friends. Oh, I need her nose. My nose is numb. Open that. Just open it and take a smell. See if you smell anything. Are you going to make me sick? No, I don't think so. They smell, they smell like beef sticks. So there's no ripe smell coming out of it? No. They smell like beef sticks. <sighs> Dang it, I'm trying to figure out what that smell is in Dad's pickup. Those have been in there for 20 days. So. It says refrigerate after opening. Yeah, I would, I would toss them. I'm tossing them. them, but, so it's not the smell then. I was going through his truck. And that was sitting underneath of his seat or beside his seat. That's from the urology. Um, a lot of you new subscribers don't know that um, Uber Dad had prostate cancer. It's been a little bit. Um, 
and uh, he has to go in and get checked up all the time. And he just went back in, that was from November, and it says undetectable. Or it was either undetectable or untraceable, or there was something there. Let me check again. But it says, uh, yeah, undetectable. So PSA is looking perfect. PSA is looking great. So congratulations to dad. I already knew that, but since the paper was in the pickup, I figured let's just staple it to the wall. You're not getting too exhausted, right? I wanted to make sure that you're not getting tired. <laughs> great time to clean that little fella. The great part about cleaning the Dodge here, I already said it vacuums nice, but the big thing is it's not really, it's, it's, it's dirty. That's all it is, is dirt. It's not a work truck in the wise of there's no grease stains, oil stains. The worst stains I need to worry about getting up are coffee stains. That is straight. That is really straight. Go over to truckingwithschmidt.com if you want one of those. I love that sticker. It's the Uber Dad sticker. I love it. I was trying to line it up with the black tint line on the inside of the pickup, and that is extremely hard to do when you don't have your glasses on. I got it straight. It's been tattooed. I can't believe he's actually gone this long without being tattooed. I only have one available hand. <laughs> The other hand has to show it on camera that I'm dancing with my wife. <laughs> to, to my favorite music, to my favorite Christmas song. To her favorite Christmas Everyone. song. Yes. Jax, come inside with me here, man. It's starting to drizzle again. Oh yeah, no heater. Heater's off now. Door's wide open. That's what winter looks like in Iowa this year. Probably a little bit nicer in other people's yards because they don't have a German Shepherd that digs their yard up. Didn't link this one through. I should have waited to scrub the seats until I was completely done. All right, I'm gonna take this thing for a drive down the highway just to see how the tires do before we go down to the car wash. And then uh, we're almost done. I keep telling myself that, almost done, almost done.
Well, ladies, I call them ladies. They're going to bite me one of these days. That's not that, that's not that bad of a lineup. You know, my dually is a 2005, just coming up on 200,000 miles. Dad's pickup is a 2014, and it either is right at or 200,000 miles. Troy's pickup back there is a uh, 1999 with over almost 300,000 miles. It just proves, keep them clean, keep them maintained as much as you can, but keep them clean and uh, they make pretty good vehicles and they last a long time. Right now we're gonna let the heater do its thing. We got it all dried up, ready to go. Once the uh, paint gets nice and warm, the pickup gets nice and warm from the heater, we'll throw a quick coat of wax on it and uh, I got an idea to make it look different when dad comes. That is what happens when you go down to the puppy's level. You go to the puppy's level, you must pet the puppy. You put the camera down by the puppy, the puppy must be in the camera. We've started waxing the truck. What I did is I took a jack and I put it under there and I jacked the front end up two and a half inches. Holy smokes, night and day difference. That, that two and a half inches takes that pickup right there and it turns it into a pickup. Doesn't that look awesome? A lot of you are looking at it saying, Schmidt, you're insane. It doesn't look any different. Comfy? I'm glad you're comfy. We're getting her whooped up. You know, most likely, come uh, tomorrow, we're going to give the pickup back to Dad. He is uh, currently freaking out because he's gone two days without his pickup. When said pickup does not move a whole lot. That lift just looks so much nicer. Man, that looks nice. You do too, you big beautiful beast, you. But that being said, tomorrow afternoon, a buddy of dad's is coming down and they're heading out to the timber. And I'm sure this thing is gonna be covered in mud because, well, it's been extremely foggy and drizzly here for the past three days. So everything's gonna be muddy. Not the really soupy mud, but the top layer, top half inch of mud to where it just is messier than all get out. And I'm perfectly fine with that. With the wax on, the mud's going to come off easier. With a clean start on the inside of the pickup, it'll stay clean a little bit longer. Who knows, maybe he'll throw Rosie in there and there'll be some dog hair in there. It's a pickup. Dad, it's a pickup, not a side-by-side. -side. The side-by-side -side does other jobs, like into the timber or into the fence lines. Side-by-side. -side. Pickup can go everywhere else side-by-side -side pickup but it is a pickup so you have to use it I am 100% for using an actual pickup and not just sitting there thinking well it has to be spit shine or it has to be polished up shiny all the time because it um, yeah it doesn't have to be and I love cleaning I mean when I'm all frustrated and going crazy in the truck and things are going wrong all day what do you guys see me doing I pull the truck over and I clean for like two hours. I love cleaning them. <laughs> It'd be okay if you'd go over and lay down by your brother by the door. You don't have to be on my side all the time. I'm just saying. 
Yeah. So yes, even though you have a clean pickup, a polished pickup, a beautiful inside pickup, use it. Just use it as a pickup, not a side-by-side, -side, Dad. It looks better than what it did. That's what happens when your dad and your son decide to pull the Dodge here, or the Ram, down to Napa because the starter went out. One of them, neither one of them will confess to it, put the tow hook on the bottom of the bumper. One jerk and it just ripped right out from underneath the bumper. I'm done stealing your truck. She, she's done stealing your truck for right now. Cool. All right. So, first off, I want you to bring your expectations down. This is not a big deal. Expectations. Okay, expectations. <laughs> expectations down. The teacher. This is not a big, <laughs> This is not a big deal. But this is just something that I want to do for you to uh, um, Show my appreciation, yeah, appreciation for like helping with this garage no. because I've come to find out I like my garage better than the house nowadays. I knew you would. I've been in here a Once. little bit longer. I'm detailing vehicles Once. and it's cold out, you know. Heater working? Heater's working good. It's probably, what is it, 70 in there? It's 74. Oh my God. It's yeah. nice in there. It's beautiful in there. <laughs> it's not really 74, but it said it's 74. So it keeps up. To keep to keep up because I like to, to open doors up. and shut doors. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay, so you got your expectations down. He just detailed it, right? You got your expectations down. Expectations. 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 Paige, I will punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Go ahead, Paige. Ah! Oh my God! What'd you do? That's what your pickup would look like with a two and a half inch leveling kit. Yeah, looks nice. Looks sure. Ran into a hiccup. <laughs> There's some frozen bolts in there and bushings. So we had to order new bushings. So it'll be done in two weeks. But that's what your pickup would look like with a leveling kit. Which will be done in two weeks. Which will be done in two weeks. She has pointed out, which will be done in two weeks. You make me cry. Those are ooh. I gotta get close for that. <laughs> I said you're gonna. If, gonna. if you cry, I gotta get really close for that. <laughs> that that's YouTube gold when they cry. Oh. There you go. You've been tattooed. You put something on my. <laughs> See. Yeah. See. Yeah. See. That's cool. Need one on the other side. I can put one there too. I can put another one. You, you know somebody that's got those? I, I know somebody that's got those. You're going to turn this into a promotional video, aren't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I kind of figured. I need to get some magnets to stick when I... Oh, good Lord. But yep, those are uh, 265 7017 BFG All Terrains 10 ply. What happened to the 85s? Or 285. Those are 285s. They are 285. Yeah. Look. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they do look a little bit smaller than your old ones, skinnier. <laughs> they look skinnier than your old ones, but they're taller than your old ones. Th this is what it, my text was referring to the other day because Corbin forgot to um, tell me one essential piece of information when yeah. I went there. I, 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 uh, I, you yeah. watched so because you watched Troy drop me off, and then you watched me. I looked at you because through the window that morning, because he was looking at me, and I'm like, "Oh crap, he sees me!" So I ran and jumped in the truck. Yeah, <laughs> and then I just jumped. Like, I'm not trying to hide nothing. I'm just <laughs> Why did you do that? I told you. I told him you needed to use the pickup. So I forgot. So, so, so I just ran in because I saw him looking at then, me. And he tells me something about Jackson, and you're going that way. And then, no, he ain't getting my truck. Um, the interior is nothing big, just detailed it up like we usually do. I got it right. So, I, mean, I put some paper towels in there. Please use them. Feel the paint. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it? It's zippery. Oh, 
It's dusty because I swept my garage. Well, I got bored while I was waiting. So, so stand over here, Dad. I'm going to drop the pickup down to what it rides now. And you're going to see the difference of how beautiful this thing is. I know. Ready? This is going down to where it is now. Oh my god. Yeah, I can barely fit under here to get the jack to ride so low. I don't know what to use here. We got to use some kind of. You, uh, on YouTube, I have YouTube before. You know, something. It's a common thing with Dodges. Yeah. I mean, or Rams, I guess they're called now. Yeah, they're not Dodges, they're Rams. You just put a big, big, big. Uh, I almost. You almost cussed again. I almost did. You almost turned the video into an advertisement, and you almost cussed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I need that. I use this. Can I borrow this? What? Leaf blower? You want to borrow your leaf blower? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can take your leaf blower. All right. Love you, pops. Love you. See you later. If you cry, I'm going to be so pissed because I didn't get it on camera. Get out of here, oh. For one thing, Dad, not worth crying over. It's a set of tires and uh, a lift. Pretty cool, right? I'm happy. I know the video is not what you thought when you seen something like a surprise and a pickup in the background. And I forgot to get a screen. Dang it. I wanted to get a thumbnail picture with Paige covering Grandpa's eyes and the pickup in the background. That would have been a great thumbnail picture. But in my family, no one holds still for more than 10 minutes. And Paige is already gone. <clears throat> All right, that's it. Um, thank you for watching the channel. And for Dad's sake, I'm going to just throw an advertisement in there. Uh, go over to truckingwithschmidt.com. You can get some really cool stickers like what we put on the back of Dad's pickup. <sighs> you stay safe, and as always, I will see you next time. Okay, what'd you just say? <laughs> wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said, don't let him fool you. Don't let him fool you. What he's doing to your truck is for him. What, what's he got up his sleeve? So that he doesn't have to keep changing so many tires. Oh. That was just very rude to say. You getting tired of rescuing me? No, that was extremely rude to say. I'm just putting that out there. I, I thought you were going to... That's a daughter-in-law's job. I thought you were going to go with he's doing it for himself because he likes pickups to look like real pickups and not cars, but you just went really rude with you that comment. You went way the other way, you're actually... Flipped it.